Thank you. So building an open source community beyond the code. When we knew that Fosback Stage was opening a, a track on design, uh, we thought we, we have to be there um, because Penpoint combines uh, design and open source. So she's Carol, community advocate at Penpot, and I'm Elena, communications specialist. And what's Penpot? Penpot is an open source design tool that bridges the gap be between designers and developers. With Penpot, you can create prototypes, interfaces, presentations like this one. I know that the organization has been using um, Penpot as well um, these past two days. And what's unique about Penpot is that it's open source. You have control, uh, you, you, have, you can customize it. It uses open standards uh, like SVG, or, and you can export um, a Penpot file and use it in most of the vectorial um, tools. And it fosters collaboration. Uh, that, that means that when we create a feature, um, we try, I mean, the language that is used is uh, understandable for both designers and, and developers. So about this talk, um, Carol will be talking about how we try to reach a diverse community and how we attend it and how we foster all kinds of contributions. And I will go over how, how can we make sure that um, everyone enjoys our amazing product. Thank you. So how we make uh, open, inclusive, and diverse communities. So from the beginning, we had this challenge because our community is not necessarily on devs. And when you go to any talk about uh, how, how I'm doing this community, you like her code, 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 issues, issue, issues, bug, bugs, bugs. And suddenly all the designers are like, sure, and not where I am in this all of this community communication, no? So since the beginning we had this, uh, but we uh, try to go beyond only, oh, I, we have designers and we go beyond that in our efforts. So first thing that we have is open by default, open source, of course, but open in uh, many other ways. So uh, we try to be transparent in our communications, in our community, uh, in our project management, so anyone can access to see what is the team is doing in each spring, and all the communications that we have is there. It's open for anyone. We also try to bring this communication before we even start to develop things. So we bring to the, to the community and we ask, what do you think about these features? How we should do that? So we have these sneak peeks like, oh, we are developing this. Look, uh, what do we did? What do you think about it? Before even a release happens. So the transparency goes all the way in our communication. So we also seek diversity. So diversity in roles, gender, abilities, and geography. So I already talked about an ability sense, like of course designers, developers, but we go beyond that. I would only talk today about how we have something we do in geography. So we're a small team. We're like 35 people around. So we cannot go all the way, every single country in the world. So we, we select four countries, five countries, to try to be a in every single continent to make sure we are thinking about that. We're thinking about their reality. We think about how it's done in their places and how we can reach to that communities. One thing that we do about that is uh, West African language translation. So we look for uh, people in that region and we pay for them to do translation. Oh, Carol, but the community ha could have done that. Of course, we have. 38 languages already done by the community, but why not? Why I cannot make sure that any people from West Africa could go to Pempot and already have that, already feel welcome in their language, in their own way of doing things. And also we try to be on offline, uh, also geographically, not only going to events as we do, we try to go to events in Africa and in Asia, in Europe, in US, but also bringing people to our own events. Elena will talk a little bit more about our, our event later, but we try to bring people also offline. Um, also, we try to do in the right space. Uh, this is GitHub, GitHub who knows Anona. And we noticed that maybe the designers are not gonna be 
so welcome to be there. Is it the best place for her, us to have in this communication, to have these conversations when they don't feel at home there? They don't feel there is their place there? So if we build our own community space so we can keep having this conversation. Of course, we do have conversations and issues. Developers still use our there, but we also have the space for everyone else. And the right way. Uh, so we know that uh, our community is a lot about visuals. And you have in a readme all like a block of text, no image, no colors, no. It's not the, the right way for us, the right way for our community. So we try to be way more visual and explaining things with visual things. And we focus a lot in visual, in videos, because they, we knew that it was the right way for us. And then we also talk about that. And how about our contributions, right? Again, you hear about contributions in open source. You hear, oh my gosh, the oh, contributions in code, oh, you can go for my issues, the good first issues, and so on. But for us, a good contribution, the first contributions, is just to say hi. It's just to come, talk to us, tell us what you think, what you, you, you are thinking about it, why you, how you want to use Pembot, why you want to use Pembot. Another thing that happened this last month that we love it, our team is about to do a like big release and is, they were quite stressful, so we just asked in Twitter, can you give us like nice words for the team? And it was awesome. Everybody just like, go, you go, you can do it, and so on. And that's a contribution for us. You're making us go forward. Just saying, hi. Of course, I will also look for more the design contributions. I would not say that's easy. I would not say we figured out the design contribution. We're still having conversation. Edio and all the people from Open Design, we're still figuring out how we can actually do design car contribution. But we do have templates that you can make your uh, design file in Pempot. You can do your design system, and you can just share with the community. It's there. Anyone can download. And when anyone can remix and reuse. Uh, also, makes sense to have a good documentation, visual one, in a sense that a uh, structure in a way that people can find, can understand, and can reuse, can have it. Both in user guide, also GitHub. We're not giving up on the developers. We still love them. <laughs> and we also try to be really communicative. How? So we always suggest how to start. You see here, like how you can start as a UX, how you can start as a developer, the good first issues, famous good first issues. So we try to be really communicative, how anyone can come and contribute to our community. Sometimes it's, it's obvious for some people, maybe they're 10 years doing this and they, they know where to find. But sometimes the first time I even hear about open source, it's like, how can I? Well, maybe. You just need a blog post in how? Now, Elena. <laughs> Thanks. So, um, marketing for open source, uh, we heard that uh, didn't, it didn't exist, that uh, there was a terrible branding, awful messaging, and we know that it exists, uh, that um, it's a really important step in the whole development process. In the previous talk, they said that the product could be perfect technically uh, without a new, uh, nice and perfect UX experience. The person is going to use the tool, but without a perfect communication and marketing, your tool doesn't exist. So the first thing <laughs> that we realized is that we have to step out and go to the right audience, through the right channels, with the right messages. So we um, launched Pempot last year and we, generated, we created a whole strategy to make sure that everyone knows about, about Pempot. And we are doing it in a, following the same values as Pempot has. No? So honesty, we tell stories about our status, about the team, about, how, uh, about the new features. Accessible, we want to make sure that all our messages are understood. Um, this is a continuous learning, how to get better here. Um, collaborative, uh, 
we have a community. We are not alone. It's not just the tool. So we know that we have um, an opportunity there to make sure that whoever want to help to spread the word, we need to help uh, by giving assets, uh, giving early access to specific features. So at the end, um, the, more, the most important thing is that there is a tool and we know everyone to know, to know about it. Um, I could be telling lots of things we are doing. Uh, the team is growing in communications, but I, I'm going to highlight three, um, three main points, which is the video, how we increased in the last year, uh, the CEO, uh, how uh, we make sure that everyone finds us uh, in internet organically, um, and our event that we celebrated last year for the first time, Penpot Fest. So video is the queen. Uh, videos have the power to attract attention and connect with emotions. So um, we are creating all kinds of videos, tutorials, uh, specific videos adapted to social media. We are creating this uh, program called Open Chat with Penpot, where we try to make a double-way uh, interview um, and, and learn about the intersection between design and code. Um, and we are creating also this network of uh, content creators in uh, YouTube, YouTube channels, and uh, other channels, as I will tell you now. And we want to make sure that everyone uh, is up to date. And last year, we knew how relevant video was, so we hired a person sp a specialist on video. Um, she had to learn all these open source tools to create, to, to edit videos, as this is something that we try to do um, in Pempot, um, and she was like, uh, why are, aren't we in Peertube yet? So uh, our events, uh, Pempot Fest was an opportunity to, to get into those social media that we are aligned with also, and the community appreciated. Uh, helpful content and CEO. So we were opti continuously optimizing the, our website. We are just about to uh, release the new blog um, we have this, of course, the README page, which made it a little more visual and uh, more attractive as well, and of course comprehensive. And the community space. The community space for us is not just a place where to ask questions, that also and bring, bring ideas, but it's a lot of information that we get from the community, a lot of feedback, and also the way they express themselves. Uh, it, it may, may, it's a lot of information for the communications team to, to get the, the way designers and developers and our community talks, and that's the way we are going to um, create our messages afterwards. So, and, and Penpot Fest. So we've been live for a few years. There's a community behind, and we really wanted to meet in person who is behind Pempot, who is contributing far away. So we created this event in, in Barcelona uh, for three days of talks, workshops, and activities. And there is something special on, on events that, that doesn't happen um, in, vir in virtual life. So there is true that we made sure that we could cover um, diversity and made an online event so those who couldn't come could join online, but also manage visas. Uh, for those who had uh, the option to come but needed a, a little more managing. Um, and, and this is uh, also contributes and um, it's also positive to communications because there is a lot of these conversations going on. But at the same time, we were, we were bringing traffic to our website, uh, bringing new conversation, bringing ideas. New collaboration happened right after the event. And I, I wanted to invite you all this year in Barcelona in June uh, 5th to 7th with a really short video I'll just play. And just uh, making sure that um, if you have a community behind, take the most out of this community. Because for us, it's like, uh, of course, that uh, marketing exists in open source. And, and it's a lot, and it, it's got a lot of help from this uh, diversity behind the community. Let's see if... Um, there's not many <laughs> ads here.
So thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see Pablo's face right at the end of the talk, right? Pablo, always. Right, he had to do a cameo at the end. Um, thank you so much, both. Uh, any questions from the audience? Thank you for this talk. I have a question. What do you use for this public uh, Kanban uh, thing where you get the feedback from user and uh, show them the progress and so on. Do you use some service or is it your own? Um, we have many ways of getting feedback from users. Uh, the thing that I show it that is our uh, product management tool is Taiga. It's also one that done by Kaleidos. And there people can comment. I would say people usually not comment there. They're more like afraid to comment, but we also use uh, Discord and the, there was like a minute space, there people comment. But we do a few other uh, interventions. We do surveys uh, of, for the community, with the community. We also do beta testing. So uh, for the grid layout uh, that we are about to launch, we did a, a beta testing with the community. We just send email to everybody who wants to be part of it. And we had like a hundred, Volunteers, but actually, people who go all the, the it was like 16 people uh, did the test and they gave us feedback, and that was amazing because we got like more than 25 uh, insights from that test that were already implemented even before we launched. So, we do a lot of feedback systems. Uh, if you have good tools, open source tools, also let me know because we still like not everything figured it out. A lot of things we end up doing with Google. Docs and Google things and yeah. So if you do have a good uh, tools that for user testing, I would love to know. Okay. Any more questions, folks? No, I, I don't think there is. Did you mention also that the community made like desktop, the desktop version of the pen? Oh platter? yes. So that was one of our first uh, like big contributions. Uh, so. Pempot is host in the cloud service as a, like a SaaS product, but you also can self-host. But it's something that was quite requested from a lot of people in the community. Why I don't have a desktop version? I want a desktop version. And we were like, sure, we see the, the need, but we don't have the, the capacity to do it. And suddenly, uh, one of the community members did. And that's crazy. That's great. And every time he's really active, and any time that uh, someone asks, like, "Oh, it's not working. What's not working?" He's like replying in minutes. I don't think that guy actually sleeps. <laughs> but it's great. Like the community can bring this uh, power to your development that you may not have if you're a smaller team, and suddenly you have a great community. You can go beyond that your capacity. Awesome. Thanks, folks. Again, if you want to give another round of applause.